Ferrari's Formula One team's arrival in Monza is delayed, and its terrible luck in 2022 has continued, as one of the trucks broke down on the route to the location of the home race, causing the resources to arrive later. Will this affect Ferrari's preparedness for the next Grand Prix? If you want to find out, stay tuned till the end of the video. Ferrari had a strong start to the 2022 season. After the first three races, they comfortably led the manufacturer's standings, as did Charles Leclerc in the individual standings. They did, however, lose both titles in a short amount of time owing to engine issues, tactical flaws and some driver blunders that might have been avoided. Their gap in both announcements expanded to over 100 points before their home competition, which is significant given that there are just seven racing weekends remaining in the season. Their diplomatic words have already signaled that the title fight seems to be finished. On the road to Monza, one of the lorries departing from the Netherlands broke down. According to the report, the truck transporting the materials detonated due to brake overheating. Images show that the automobile even caught fire on the road. Ferrari had to contact the fire brigade, but the damage seemed to be minor. However, it seems that the supplies would arrive at Monza later than scheduled owing to the failure and the squad may be confident that they will be able to overcome their weekly bad luck and thrill their supporters with a solid result. Nonetheless, as long as Ferrari has a mathematical chance in the title race, they will not give up the battle, and they are preparing for the Monza weekend in a particularly fierce spirit, knowing that they can show themselves in front of their fervent home fans. Their poor luck in 2022, though, began even before they arrived at the Italian Grand Prix. I'm sure you're wishing us all the good luck we can get, so hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to show support and love. In 2022, Leclerc has been a victim of bad luck, with Ferrari's questionable strategy decisions often being the source of his points deficit over Max Verstappen. In the driver's standings, the Dutchman presently leads the Ferrari driver by staggering points, putting Leclerc on the back foot for the rest of the season. In 2022, the 24-year-old Scuderia driver struggled with his car's lack of dependability, with the team admitting that it emphasized performance above reliability throughout development. The bad luck started since from the start in Emilia-Romagna GP. In the sprint race, Leclerc had tyre degradation issues, allowing Verstappen to win and claim the pole position. Red Bull was once again too strong for the Italians, as the Austrian racing team claimed its first double victory since 2016. However, Leclerc was not content with that and launched an assault on Sergio Perez, which cost the Monegasque dearly. He spun from third to sixth, decreasing the number of points he might have earned. This went on in the Monaco Grand Prix. Unfortunately for Leclerc, 2022 demonstrated why some believe his home race is cursed. He had never crossed the finish line at Monte Carlo before this year, so here was his big opportunity to put a stop to that streak. Everything looked to lead to an easy win with pole position in his grasp, but that dream was savagely dashed by none other than his own crew. It was obvious from the outset that this would not be a simple race. Rain poured down as dark clouds loomed, delaying the start by an hour. The race began behind the safety car, so far, everything was going well for Leclerc, who had a five-second lead over teammate Carlos Sainz. Red Bull, on the other hand, proved to be tactically clever, sending Perez in for a tyre change. Red Bull, like other teams, chose intermediates, which provided an opening for the Italian team. Instead of allowing Leclerc out longer and switching to softs right immediately, as Sainz insisted, Ferrari's nervousness got the better of them. The Monegasque was summoned back only a few laps after his initial pit stop, but as he approached the pit lane, he heard his engineer panic and ask him to remain out. Stay out, stay out. It was too late for that, and Leclerc was obliged to pit behind Sainz, who was on the team at the time. As a consequence, Leclerc was demoted to fourth place and even lost out on the podium in a race that Ferrari might have won twice. The British Grand Prix was not much different. Leclerc was once again a victim of his team's indecision at Silverstone. With Verstappen out of the race because of the carbon fibre beneath his vehicle, the Monegasque seemed poised for an easy triumph. Ferrari squandered the opportunity by failing to respond during a late safety car scenario. The Italian team's pit wall determined that Leclerc, who was leading at the moment, should remain out. However, Sainz, Perez and Lewis Hamilton did, and Leclerc was overtaken by all three cars despite being on 14 lap tyres. As in Monaco, the squad squandered a possible victory by finishing fourth. Despite being behind Verstappen and Red Bull, Ferrari arrived in France in excellent spirits. The team was invincible in Austria and would have won a 1-2 if Sainz's engine had not broken in the final stages, but had to settle for Leclerc's victory. Things looked promising for the Monegasque at Circuit Paul Ricard as well. Sainz, who had to start from the rear of the grid owing to an engine change, gave his colleague a toe to pole position. Leclerc was able to keep his position and seize the lead in the race. But things went horribly wrong when Verstappen slipped behind him when he was brought in for a pit stop. 
The Ferrari driver attempted to gain as much time on his competitor as possible before his own pit stop, but went over the limit and crashed into the wall. Verstappen then won alone, putting the Dutchman 25 points ahead of his competitor at that time. A week later in the Hungary Grand Prix, Leclerc attempted to put his expensive error behind him. Verstappen had a great chance to make up a lot of ground after being relegated to the 10th position on the grid due to a mechanical issue. Ferrari should have had an easy victory on a circuit not renowned for its ease of passing. However, the Italians once again managed to set fire to their own lenses. Ferrari had to give the pole to George Russell, but they had a fantastic starting position from P2 and P3. Halfway through the race, Russell had to concede defeat to Leclerc, who had taken the lead with his overtaking maneuver. However, during the second pit stop, the team made a puzzling decision. Leclerc was placed on hard compound tires, despite the fact that other teams had previously established that such tires were not suitable for the chilly conditions that day. While Leclerc performed well on the mediums, he struggled to gain traction on the hard tires. It did not get any better, and after 15 laps of hard labor, Ferrari called him in for the third time. The switch to soft tyres did not benefit the Monegasque, and although Verstappen raced from P10 to victory, Leclerc finished 6th. Ferrari has not had the greatest of luck lately, either in the Hungarian and Dutch GP, with the team not only damaging an air cannon during the Dutch Grand Prix, but also forgetting the fourth wheel during the same pit stop. Combining this with poor strategy, which has arguably damaged Charles Leclerc's prospects of winning the title. Now, as the team heads to their home race at Monza, they've run straight into more bad luck as their trucks break down along the way. Although the incident shouldn't cause too much of an issue, it was just another microcosm of the kind of season the Italian team is having. When Mattia Bonotto is asked about his views on the track, the team principal explained that the track is amazing. The circuit holds a unique place on the calendar, as it is a super fast track, the only one of the season, which makes it particularly tough on engines and cars, said Bonotto. He continued that there is no room for error at Monza, as there's no time to recover. Bonotto added, here, the power unit is at its maximum for four-fifths of the lap and it has to work perfectly. The race flies by, with 53 lap runs at a very fast pace, so there is no room for mistakes from the drivers, because usually there's no time to recover. However, winning in Monza will be difficult for Ferrari. Red Bull Racing seems to be much quicker than the Italians at the moment, particularly on a circuit like Monza. At Spa, Max Verstappen was similarly dominant, and Ferrari was unable to compete. On the Italian circuit, the maximum speed will again play a key role with the lengthy straights. In an interview with Formula1.com, Sainz let it be known that he is a bit nervous regarding the pace of the Red Bull car. A bit, yeah, I'm not going to lie, we know they're going to be strong there, it's another track that should suit them, but this doesn't mean we can't react from Spa and at least make their life a bit more difficult around Monza. Sainz will certainly do his best to get a good result for the team. After a disappointing Dutch Grand Prix, the Spaniard is even more motivated. Even if Ferrari does not have the fastest cars for a circuit like Monza, Sainz believes victory can still happen in a variety of ways. You might not be the fastest, but you can find a way around it and win, so we're going to give it our best shot, says the Ferrari driver. In 2019, the Italian team won for the last time at their home circuit, along with Leclerc. Should Ferrari be expecting good luck for the remainder of the season? Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of our incredible videos. Keep an eye out for the next video. Bye for now. Bye for the